We all know that water play a vital role in maintaining our life. Take a few quick search on the internet. You can easily find out that an average individual needs to consume approximately 18 to 100 gallons of water per day, only for in-the-home uses. However, many people are suffering from water scarcity. According to Project World Impact, 663 million people in the world do not have access to clean water, and over 2.7 billion people face water shortage for at least one month out of the year. They are the ones living in harsh areas such as Central India, Bangladesh, and Myanmar, where finding a water source is a huge difficulty. UNICEF's reports have shown that millions of women and children spent three to six hours each day collecting water from distant and polluted sources. The time it takes to walk the average 3.7 miles is time not spent generating income, caring for family members, or attending school. However, the water that can also evilly harm their health. According to Evidence Action, about 480,000 of children under the age of 5 died annually from preventable diseases relating to contaminated water. In Vietnam, even though there are 2,732 rivers, the situation is still alarming. The Water Project reported that only 39% of the rural population has access to safe water and sanitation. Moreover, the dry season has affected numerous areas of a country, such as in the southern western Vietnam. There are reported that in the Mekong Delta, drought and water salinity are threatening the lives of 180,000 households. This issue does not only negatively impact the life of an individual, but also disrupts the farming season, threatens the life of animals and numerous families. Researchers from Province Department of Agriculture and Rural Development show that during the year 2019 and 2020, dry season salt water intrusion and drought in the Mekong Delta province of Traving caused a total damage of 1 trillion VND to agricultural production. Currently, mainstream solutions to this problem like manual accessing or rainwater harvesting would not be efficient or helpful. Studied by Science Daily, areas with high salinity in water cause an unexpectedly high level of air pollutants. Therefore, rainwater may consist of these harmful particles and may cause serious health issues. Besides, having to walk to rivers, streams, and wells requires time and strength, in which people living in this area tend to lack due to the harsh environment and living conditions. Therefore, we have developed a solution to solve this issue of water shortage that does not harm the environment. Acknowledging the infinite source of water in the air around us, we search for ways to exploit this source using physic principles. Condensation. The process where water vapor becomes liquid at a dew point. The temperature at which condensation happens. This natural phenomenon occurs anywhere and anytime. For example, water droplets on the outside of a cold water glasses, or soda cans, or maybe outside of grasses, lawns, cars, or windows in the early morning. As a result of researching and brainstorming, we came up with Win A. Our machine, Win A, includes the air filter, a heating system, a cooling system, and a water filter tank. First of all, the air will go through the air purifier, which consists of a purification membrane and an air intake system. The suctioning system takes in air using an electronic fan. The air will then be passed through five different membranes. The first membrane, also known as the pre-filter, stops all the dirt, hair, or huge physical materials. The next three membranes are called the medium filter, in which the second membrane filters toxic gases and unpleasant smells. The third membrane gets rid of yellow dust, Legionella flu bacteria, and the fourth layer further controls the harmful scent, such as from cigarettes. The last layer, which is called HEPA, filters out fungal bacteria that are harmful for our health. 
The filtered air will now be heated by our underfloor heating system, consisting of wires wrapping the air duct. When electricity passes through, it will convert to electric heat to evenly warm up the air. This process of heating the air up before cooling it down speeds up the whole procedure. This happens because hot air tends to float up quicker. Besides, the high contrast between the hot air and the following cooling system increases the speed of condensation. The ideal heating temperature is 100 degrees Fahrenheit or around 37 degrees Celsius. After reaching this point, the heating system will maintain the temperature. When the air heats up, it can easily flow through and up the air ducts. Then the hot air will come in contact with a cold surface, thus condensation happens. This cold surface will be placed diagonally so when the water forms, it will slip from high to low areas of the surface. The cold surface is cooled by the cooling system made from chip filter, which is a small semiconductor plate. It has two faces, one to heat and another to cool the air. To be clear, this small, light but powerful semiconductor plate absorbs heat from the top side and discharges it to the other surface. So, the more effective the top side at heating, the better the other side can cool the air. If we put in enough energy, it can eventually go below 0 degrees Celsius and form ice. This technology can be seen in various refrigerators, regulating air conditions and temperature. In our machine, the ideal cooling temperature will be 62 degrees Fahrenheit, which is 16 degrees Celsius or below, assuring that vapor will turn into liquid even when the humidity of the area is 40%. As soon as vapor condenses into water, they will flow with a cold film and into the tank. This tank includes a filter to get rid of the dust and toxins that manage to pass through the air filter. After the filtering process, clean water will be accessible by using a tap on the side. There will also be a monitor on the side, displaying the amount of water in the tank at the moment. About the benefit of our machine, firstly, both air and water is filtered throughout the process, thus ensuring the quality of the water for daily life. Water can be used at the moment it is condensed into liquid matter. Secondly, this is a long-term solution for the problem. Air and water filter can be replaced every three months. All other parts can be cleaned and sanitized. Thirdly, this will save the user time, effort, and finance. Since the source of water is in the air, it can be accessed within the area without having to travel to domestic water sources. Lastly, our machine is suitable for Vietnam's environment or anywhere with high humidity. Vapor in the air will be absorbed and then transformed into liquid form, decreasing the humidity. Considering Vietnam's environment, especially in the winter, these machines will be extremely useful. Our machine can be easily moved to different areas because it has a moderate size and shape, which base is around 3 by 3 meters. Not only that, the main material which makes up the machine is PVC plastic, which is reusable, cheap, and easy to manufacture, and is one of the most abundant type of plastic in Vietnam. With humidity levels from 80 to 100%, Vietnam is a suitable country to put our machine into use. In some areas that lack water but have a high humidity, such as the Mekong River Delta, or the northern mountains of Vietnam are ideal regions to use this machine as well. In the Mekong River Delta, the water is contaminated with salt. To be specific, according to the Vietnam Irrigation Science Institute, all areas in contact with the sea have a water with salinity of 24 grams per liter and even higher. And the standard level in fresh river water is less than 0.06 grams per liter. Furthermore, salt intrusion into the mainland is also an alarming problem. These high salinity levels can severely impact crop fields. However, this area is characterized by humid tropical climate and sub-equational 
climate, with average humidity ranging from 75% to 85%. Therefore, in this context, our machine can reach its full potential here, benefiting from the high humidity level and the low amount of fresh water. In the northern mountains, areas where people can get access to clean water are usually quite far away from the towns. Except for a few wells, people would have to travel to streams and rivers to get water. But with our machine, people can use it during the morning or leave it on overnight, so they can get a vast amount of water on the following day. As we can clearly see, our machine can be used to effectively solve the problem of water shortage in many regions of Vietnam. About the problems that our machine can encounter, first of all, it requires a long time to filter the water. Secondly, to receive plenty of water, electricity is required in return. Third of all, when too much water is collected yet not taken out, they might overflow. On the other hand, we have came up with future solutions to these problems. First of all, in the future, our machine can come in various sizes, from small ones to big ones. Larger ones can produce more clean water and also have a higher capacity. Secondly, we will use natural source of electricity for the machine, such as solar panels or the wind power. Thirdly, a sensor will be placed within the water tank measuring the water level and therefore, if the tank is filled, the machine will be paused. Last but not least, we would like to introduce a little bit about ourselves. We are a group of students from Wallspring Bilingual School in Hanoi. Inspired by the desire for water of people in many Vietnamese regions, it will be our honor to bring our innovation to the public. As most of you might wonder what our machine names mean, well, it is quite simple. Basically, WIN-A is an acronym which stands for Water in Air. This is the core idea behind our machine, which refers to the high humidity in the atmosphere in our country that we can effectively utilize.